Hi guys, my name is Jennifer Thomas and I am with SessionGirls.com and I'm here with the beautiful Denise in Las Vegas, Nevada. And uh, I'm taking advantage of this opportunity to be with this amazing strong woman who has been a Session Girl for now two years. And I also want to thank the MaleVersusFemale.org forum for sponsoring this interview. And we have some great questions here. Uh, we may not have time to go through them all. But that's okay, because that just gives us a reason to do interview number two. So, Denise, thank you for being here today. My pleasure. Yes. Yeah. You've been here in Vegas for one night now? One night. And what it's, do you think? It's been good. Lots of uh, action so far in Vegas. So, yeah. so far, so good. Vegas is the place of action. Definitely. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. And this is where you're making money and not losing money, I hope, correct? Definitely, yes. Okay. Yeah, gam gambling's not, not for me. It's nice to go and have a look at the, yeah, the just tables, but... Yeah, keep your absolutely. distance from the tables, right? Yeah. Yeah, I get you. I'm the same way. So, let's start with um, question number one. It says, you are an amazing, beautiful, and strong woman. What got you started into mixed wrestling? And what do you like the best about mixed wrestling? Oh, okay. So what got me started into mixed wrestling? Well, I've been a competitive bodybuilder for six years. Um, and I've always had really good quads. Mm -hmm. uh, my quads, my outer sweep has always been one of my, my strong points. Um, and so at some point in my bodybuilding career, somebody said to me, Denise, you have amazing quads. Have you ever scissored anybody and I was like what's a scissor I didn't even know what a scissor was scissor was so um yeah started inquiring a little bit more about wrestling and what that involved um had a few sessions and yeah the rest is history just really enjoyed it it's a lot of good fun um yeah here I am two years later yeah I got to experience those quads last night yeah yeah that was that was tapped fun. out right away <laughs> That was fun. Very powerful legs. That's awesome. So do you see yourself continuing in the scene? Um, or do you see yourself, like, is this just a temporary thing for you? I think I've got a few years left in me. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah, a, few, a few more guys to squeeze before I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> it's too much fun to stop now. I know, right? Yeah. I haven't been able to stop, and it's been like 18 years for me. Yeah. So. Yeah, we'll see. Mm. Um, have you ever wrestled another strong woman um yeah last night <laughs> <laughs> last night i got thrown in at the deep end first night in uh, vegas wrestling yeah thomas it's like yeah so yeah. and that was totally and unexpected totally very unexpected. Spo spontaneous we were called at the last minute to wrestle each other yeah and uh it came out to be a draw yeah we tied but i you know I, obviously i know you're a fantastic wrestler and you have such a great like background in wrestling so i took the opportunity to you know kind of see what you were doing and see if i could pick up any new moves and you know you had lots going on so hopefully <laughs> that was that session um has taught me some some new things that I can go away and, and put onto some guys. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Put them in the headlock for me. Yeah, definitely. Because that's my that's my hold. <laughs> uh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> do you have a favorite victory pose when you do your videos? Oh, it's got to be a double bicep. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's got to be, hasn't it? I mean, or one bicep. Mm-hmm. But Just, this 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 arm. Yeah. Let me feel that. That's you. My goodness. I'm definitely keeping my jacket on. <laughs> um, have you ever arm wrestled another strong woman? I did. So this morning, this morning, uh, Brandy May okay. came around to my Airbnb and we had an arm wrestle. And? We had a, a match, best out of three. I don't know if I can tell, I can oh. tell the results. Maybe I have Where to wait. Where can they find? They can find the clip. It will be on a Brandy May store, I believe, and it will be on my OnlyFans as well. Okay. So yeah, if you want to know who who won the arm wrestle, because Brandy May has good biceps. She's she has good biceps. Yeah. Yeah, she's so. she's quite built. 
She is mm -hmm. very built. What are your some of your favorite hobbies outside of the wrestling scene? Uh, obviously bodybuilding. So bodybuilding is something that I've been doing for six years. Um, I've always been into sports. Like growing up, I was into ice skating, gymnastics, taekwondo, um, a bit of mixed martial arts. Um, so I've always enjoyed having something to do, um, sport-wise. Bodybuilding the last six years, but outside of like sports and activities, just the normal stuff. Like traveling is always nice. Nice food, occasional glass of red wine, yeah. Yes, I had some white wine last night. Mm. I needed it to take on you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, says because of your bodybuilding, your your career. What is your max? Like your, what's your max as far as like bench press, your squats? Okay, so we'll go through them. Bench press. I used to bench press more, mm -hmm. but obviously, you know these. Um, uh, having implants means you shouldn't really go to the max on bench pressing. Um, so I do a little bit of bench press, but I kind of keep it to one plate a side. So I have to make sure I've got the UK, US conversions right. 20 kg per side, plus the bar is 60 kg. So that's comfortable for me. Um, squat, I can, I can do a relatively heavy squat. So I can squat three 20 kg plates a side, so that's 60, wow. 120 plus the bar, 140 kg. So I'm, I'm quite strong in my squat. And that's for about four or five reps comfortably. Um, and then deadlift. Deadlift isn't my favoured movement. Mm -hmm. It's not like my strong, my squat and my leg press are definitely my stronger, good quads. Mm -hmm. um, deadlift, you know, I don't, really, I don't really push it that much, but three plates per side, for a few reps, so again, 140 kg. So my deadlift and my squat is similar, but I'm more comfortable with my squat. That's a lot. Yeah. I, I don't. I'm not a fan of deadlifts. I don't know no. why. I've just never connected with that yeah. one. Yeah, they're they're tricky. They're mm -hmm. tricky. They're not as satisfying. A squat's satisfying. Yes, yeah. I know. Yeah. Plus, you can see them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Says, um, would you ever? Date a man that's weaker than you. Oh, would I ever? Possibly. I don't tend to like, I think because I'm quite built, guys naturally assume that I go for other muscular guys. Whereas, you know, us bodybuilders, we're, we're high maintenance, you know, we have to eat at a certain time, have a certain routine. So it's hard enough having one person in a relationship that needs all that care and attention. Um, so I think having like the thought of having to kind of put up with somebody like myself isn't the most appealing So therefore I don't tend to go for super muscular guys. I like just normal guys, you know, so normal, average athletic. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, I don't necessarily mm -hmm. Need to have muscles um, and if they were weaker than me, I could just boss them around and get them to do <laughs> whatever I wanted to do I, you know, yeah. But do you like that? Yeah. In a relationship? Hmm. <laughs> maybe a little bit. Maybe a little bit, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I like I like to get my own way and yeah. You good. look like a woman that likes to get her yeah. own way. And it looks like you've received it too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so the next question is have you ever used a scissor hold on anyone outside of the session world? Boyfriend, friend? So um, I've not used a scissor hold on a, on a boyfriend, but there was a time I have a friend, she's not a sessioner, but she knows what I get up to and having the sessions. And she came around to my house one time and we were having a drink. She came with her boyfriend and we'd had a few drinks and she was like, oh, Denise does this wrestling and gets these, you know, beats these guys up and gets them in holds. And he was like, what, what, what do you do? And she said, she was like, right, you get on the floor now and she'll show you. So I put him on the floor. And what was the most funny part was she found it hilarious. I got him on the floor and did a reverse scissor. And he was like, oh my God. And she, she was like, keep going, keep going. And like, she lived it. So um, yeah, that was a time where I scissored somebody who was non they didn't know about this, the world before beforehand so but he did when he, when he left by the time he left and i bet you he will remember it for the rest oh, of I his oh i think i life. think so i think so <laughs> you left yeah. him a lasting impression the funny thing you? was that my my friend actually after i'd finished his 
scissor in him. She was like, I want to go, I want to go. How do you do it? So I, I taught her. So maybe they went home. And, uh, and... Oh. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. So you taught her how to do it. Yeah. That's cool. Maybe she could be a future session girl. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Uh, have you, what is your favorite scissor? This is a tough one because it depends on the guy. Like if you have a, a small guy and you can get a nice body scissor, that's satisfying. But if you have a big guy and you can't get that, that body scissor, it's like, no, it's satisfying. But I think I'd have to go reverse scissor. Reverse scissor? Yeah, I'd huh? have to go reverse scissor. Well, it says to demonstrate, but I don't want to get in your reverse <laughs> scissor. Heck no! I don't know. What's, what's yours? If you had to choose. Well, I like the reverse scissor too. Yeah. But I also like the figure four. Yeah, that mm -hmm. is a good one. Because it's just, just right with the yeah. neck and the my calf digs in. And yeah, that is a good one. Mm -hmm. I would say, yeah, between, between those two. But if I had to pick... I'd go in reverse scissors. Go in reverse scissors. Squeeze really hard. Take them where the sun don't shine, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and they can't hear anything. And you're like, are you okay down there? And they're like, what? <laughs> well, how about this? How about you put me in the figure four? I feel like I have more chances of life with the figure four than I do. In the figure four right now? Yeah, I'll do it. I'll sit down on the floor. We'll do a couch figure four. Huh? A couch figure four. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's do it. All right. Let me take off my coat. You promise you're not going to beat me up afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't be able to get out, so. <laughs> All right, so here I'll, I'll come. Sit down. Yeah. Can I? Am I still seeing here? Let's get you right in there. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, there's, that? there's definitely no escaping this. No. And Do you know you... why it's easier with heels on? Actually, I can grab my heel. Yeah. <laughs> How's that so, I am so glad that you're really not squeezing me right now because I would be a dead woman. <laughs> yeah, I, I, but I feel the pressure with just yeah. you putting the hold, not even doing anything. Yeah. <laughs> okay, That's cool. Good. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. <laughs> I like to be the giver, not the receiver when it comes to this kind of stuff. Okay, so I think we have a couple more questions. We might actually do, we might actually finish them. Yeah, we'll uh, have you ever put someone to sleep outside of the session world? Oh, I was going to say, in the session world, yes, and that is fun. Um, but outside of the session world, it's not really something you do by accident. <laughs> so, no, I don't think unless someone's requested me to put them to sleep that I, that I have. So How many KOs have you done? Like, what's what's the most amount of KOs that you've done in a session? In one session? Yeah, in one session. I would say around five. Five? Okay. Was he able to leave the room after? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But all, all kind of like... Check like rear, rear naked yeah. chokes? Yeah. That's awesome. Okay, I think we're on our last... What are some of your favorite cities that you've gone to on tour? So this is my first US tour. Mm -hmm. um, second city so far. So I started in Chicago. Um, that was great. Guys were fantastic. Really nice city. Um, had some nice time. Went to the Michigan Avenue. It was, it was so cold though. Oh my God, it was so cold. Was I was freezing. freezing. Mm -hmm. um, but then, yeah, uh, Las Vegas has been... Great, got to wrestle you, come and have this interview with you. Yeah. Um, and then tomorrow off to LA. So looking forward to LA. Are you doing anything fun in LA? Yeah, some super fun things in LA. So have a few days downtown LA, um, and then I'm going a bit further south and spending some time with some other wrestlers, session girls that I'm sure the audience might be aware of. So. We have Sydney Thunder, we have Goddess Nadia, and Missile Barbie, and myself. All four of us, four blondes, and we have three days of full filming planned. So wow. there should be some fresh, hot content coming yes. soon. Yes, yeah. absolutely. 
You know, Sydney Thunder was my very first Session Girls interview. Really? Very first one. I probably have 30, 35 interviews, 40 interviews. I don't yeah. know how many. I have a lot of interviews. And wow. you remind me so much of her. You have a similar body type. You said that yesterday. You know, yeah. you have the same kind of summer look. It's just like you both are very beautiful women and you could be like sisters. Wow, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. So I've, I've not met her yet in person. I've spoke to her online a lot. Um, but now I'm super excited to go and meet yeah, her. Yeah, she, she's think. great. You'll, you'll enjoy yeah. her. And she's yeah. easier to wrestle than me. <laughs> 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 we have some, we have some, I think we have some oil wrestling planned with oh. all four of us. That's yeah. going to be hard. That's going to be hard. It's too bad you don't have live stream hooked up. <laughs> mm? Oh, that's a good idea. Right? You know how many people would log in to watch Ooh. that? Exactly. Yeah. I, I, I might, I might send her a message and mm -hmm. see. So let's live stream this. Yeah. That's Absolutely. Good idea. Thank you. Uh, so anyways, that's really actually about it. Um, so I really appreciate you taking the time to do this interview. I hope you guys enjoyed this interview. I know I did. I got to learn more about Denise that I didn't know before. I did find out last night how very strong she is and how deadly her thighs are. So it's definitely an experience you would not want to miss. Uh, so I would say book with Denise on Session Girls. Definitely. It's been a pleasure and yeah, it was great to meet you and I will definitely be back. Definitely be okay. back. I think uh, the US will be will be more familiar for me over the next the next few years. Well, I hope you come back personally. Yeah. Yeah. So where can they find you other than Session Girls? Uh, so Session Girls and the, my main channel at the moment is my OnlyFans. I'm putting a lot, a lot of time, a lot of effort into creating really good content that I hope, you know, is, is uh, well catered for wrestling but also other other stuff as well so there's a there's a lot of hours gone into creating good content and it's it's all going on my my only fans which is Denise wrestler so make sure to go check out Denise's only fans all right well thank you very much you're an awesome session girl and I'm happy that we have you on the site thank you all right have a good night bye, bye.